looking beautiful out there this midday. Look at the brilliant blue sky there. Plenty of sunshine, but the winds are a howling. We've already had wind gusts in many parts of the valley up around 30 to 40 miles per hour, and those breezes will continue for the rest of the afternoon into the early part of the evening, and then they'll start to die down as we approach sunset tonight. There is the cold front, so it is going to be racing southward today, tonight, and by tomorrow morning, we'll be pushing into the valley. Time frame right now is pretty wide, about 5 to 9 a.m. or so. So be aware that we could see some showers and thunderstorms along that front as it passes through uh, right about the time you would be heading out for your morning commute to whether to work or to school. Uh, and then the cooler, drier air will be coming in behind it, kind of lagging behind. There are your winds, again, the yellow arrows. So 1 o'clock this afternoon, still keeping those fairly strong winds. We get into late afternoon, early evening. They come down just a little bit, but still could see some wind gusts up around 25 to 30 miles per hour plus and then they will rapidly start to die down as we go through 7 to 8 o'clock this evening. The strongest winds then will be just offshore. So not looking for any rainfall today or into this evening, but overnight tonight, starting as early as midnight, we could see a few of those showers and thunderstorms popping up out there. Mid and upper 80s to near 90 degrees for highs today inland, near 80 degrees there out on the island. Our valley average high for the date now at 79. We should be at 57 at night. Look at these numbers. They're going to be pretty warm ahead of that front. These will probably be our daytime uh, highs. They may go up a little bit further into the 70s, but then they're going to be dropping rapidly once that front goes through. And we're all going to be pretty much in the 60s by mid-afternoon tomorrow with clouds sticking around and some lingering showers possible as well. On the island, 80 degrees today. Rib current risk is moderate, and that surf is running 3 to 5 feet. So the cold front, that's the big story for us, and it's going to make big changes Mid and upper 80s to near 90 degrees today, and then mid 60s to near 70 degrees tomorrow. We've got that slight return of humidity ahead of it. So there's your green. That's what the front's going to be plowing into. That's why we're not seeing a whole lot of rainfall, if anything, along the front until it gets further south. And then we do expect to see a breakout of showers and thunderstorms ahead of, along, and slightly behind that front. And then that drier air starts to move in by later in the day tomorrow, and especially during the day on Friday. Another look at the timing here. So here's 5 a.m. It could be a little bit further south at this point, but that's why I'm saying that 5 to 9 a.m. time frame. Watch the showers and storms develop along and even lingering behind the front into the 8, 9 o'clock hour. So eventually the showers and storms will push out of the area, but we're going to still see a chance uh, for some showers around even in the afternoon hours. And then that clearing will start to take place late tomorrow. And into Friday, no severe weather expected, just general thunderstorms. If we see any develop, and I think we will for tomorrow morning, not everyone's going to see the rain. So forget about the location here. Basically, what this is telling you is that anywhere across the valley, we could see some of those higher totals of one to three inches of rainfall tomorrow morning. If you get any some of those heavier downpours where we really need to see the rain is Western Hidalgo into Stark County. That's where we'll be crossing our fingers to get some of the heavier rainfall for tomorrow morning. Get that umbrella handy. Make sure you know where the jacket is. You're going to need all of that tomorrow, Pauline. This is going to be a big change. So 80 to 90 degrees today, 77 temperatures falling in the afternoon into the mid 60s with a strong north wind. It's going to feel colder than that with the dampness in the air as well. You're going to need the jacket tomorrow and then we'll break out in the sun, but only 73 on Friday.